Greetings and thank you for the privilege once again to come your way today to spend a few moments in the Word of God and pray together. We are reminded of what the psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. And even today, throughout the day, at all times, you bless the Lord, let His praise be continually in your mouth. This week, we're talking about having confidence in prayer. And uh, 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15 is our scripture text where the Apostle John said, Now this is the confidence we have in Him, we have in our God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know He hears us, we know that we have the petitions that we asked of Him. So the key here, John is saying, is to ask aligned to His will, anything according to His will. And we are talking about how to know His will. We said, first of all, look at the life of Jesus. If Jesus ministered in a particular way, if He did and said something, then that's the will of God. Second, the written Word of God, the promises of God are the will of God. And the third of today, which we want to, we want to consider is, the Holy Spirit reveals the will of God. So there are many personal experiences, personal situations, life situations where we need to know the will of God. And uh, of course, we may not find anything specific in the life and ministry of Jesus in relation to that matter. Uh, we may not necessarily find a specific verse of Scripture in relation to that matter other than the general teaching of Scripture. So you want to know something very specific. Maybe God, do I relocate to another city or do I stay in this city? Uh, you know, if you have multiple job offers, which job am I supposed to take? Uh, several options before you. What options should I consider? So in these specific matters, we listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit leads us. He guides us. And so as believers, we have the privilege of being led by the Spirit. The Bible tells us that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. That means the sons and daughters of God, the children of God, they have the privilege of being led by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit can bring His guidance to us in many ways through His peace in our hearts and by giving us the inner witness, something that gives us a sense of knowing or joy or peace or assurance. And he leads us. And when we pick that up, we know that we are praying according to His will. Now, I know this is something, this is a learning process, but we must learn to listen to the Holy Spirit because God wants to lead us by His Spirit. So listen to the Holy Spirit. Ask Him, Lord, what do you want me to do in this matter? Give me your wisdom. Give me your understanding. And He will do that. And once you know that, then you can ask according to that. Say, so, Lord, this is what I feel. The Spirit of God has spoken to me, Father. And so I'm asking according to your will because I'm asking according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. So, when we pray, we pray according to the revelation we see in the person of Jesus. Jesus healed, Jesus delivered, Jesus ministered to the needs of people. We pray according to the Word of God, the promise of God, and we pray according to the witness of the Holy Spirit. We pray according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And when we do that, we are asking according to His will. As we continue the next two days, we're going to talk about how to receive answer to our prayer. So that you and I can be people who have confidence in prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the work of your Holy Spirit who leads us, who guides us, who teaches us. Help us to know your will by listening to your Spirit. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.